ham. I'm gonna show you how to make a honey baked ham, honey glazed ham like you do at the honey glazed ham store, except for it's quite a bit less expensive. This ham costs uh, twenty-eight dollars as opposed to the ham store where I don't know it's like sixty or seventy dollars. I'm sure you had to glaze it and everything. So here's the ham. It's already sliced. Now we're gonna coat it with this uh, seasoning mixture that's gonna turn into the glaze. And the seasoning mixture, uh, it's ham seasoning. The mixture is a cup of sugar, just plain old white table sugar, to half a teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. And I just show you. Mia's here, she's coating the ham and really getting lots of this mixture on there. And what happens is it'll go in between the layers, the flavoring will, but it will also, when we glaze it with the torch, it's going to get uh, hard on top like a brulee crust. And that's how they make a honey glazed ham right there. Great job, man. <laughs> Unwanted selfie video. So here's a our spiral sliced ham. And I've let this ham seasoning marinate on it for about three hours. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sear the outside, burn the outside with this torch. See how it's starting to turn color on there? and it's actually caramelizing the outside of this ham. This is how they do it at the ham store. And that's that awesome finishing touch. So what I'll do is I will burn the outside of this or caramelize the outside of this and then repack it with seasoning again and then do it again. And I'll do it three times and it makes for a really good crust on this ham. So, here's the honey glazed ham. It turned out really, really good. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the crust on it from the, from the sugar caramelizing, but it looks really pretty. It smells good, and it comes fully cooked. So all you're doing is putting the glaze on it by using the uh, sugar mixture and caramelizing it, and then finishing it in the oven. It smells good, it looks good, and it, it tastes phenomenal.